Hello, I'm Father Richard, coming to you from the Shrine of St. Anthony here in Ellicott City, Maryland. And my topic today is um, the month of February. Poets sometimes say, or have said, that April is the cruelest month. Well, we know that February is the shortest of months. But within the month of February, we as a church celebrate a great many things. First and foremost, the first week of February starts the church off in what we would call a week um, praying for vocations. And we at the Shrine of St. Anthony are instituting a <clears throat> prayer statue which will go out each week to a different family for their um, use in prayer. We, they will have a sheet of prayers, intercessions for vocations, particularly for of course, Franciscan vocations to our conventual Franciscan um, community, the province of Our Lady of the Angels. This will start on February 2nd, which is traditionally um, a moment where we look for vocations in the church, vocations to the priesthood, for those who wish to be a religious sister or a lay brother. And on that day, February 2nd, it is the 40th day from the celebration of Christmas. And the church calls the Feast of the Presentation of Jesus in the Temple Candlemas Day, the Mass with Candles. And traditionally, we bless candles on that day because on that day, Christ, our light, was taken into the temple was brought to the temple um, by his parents. We bless these candles and people, after a donation, um, take them home. In my family, we always had a blessed candles or a pair, because they come as a pair. And I remember when I was a young boy, whenever there was a thunderstorm or threat of um, severe weather, and we would perhaps even lose power. My mother would take out her blessed candles. He, she'd put it on a small candle stand in, on, the, on the kitchen table. She'd say a prayer. And for a young child, it made me feel safe. Just seeing that light made me feel safe. And we did pray for the protection of our home on, on those moments, in those moments, whenever there was a storm outside. Our home was so protected that even the neighborhood dogs, the dog from next door, would come over and, and hide underneath our steps, finding shelter and security. Even the animal world knew that our house was protected. Now, the day after February 2nd, we celebrate the memorial of St. Blaise, bishop and doctor, and <clears throat> it is said that um, in his um, lifetime, he spared someone from a choking hazard. And so we take blessed candles from Candlemas, and we say a prayer on the Feast of St. Blaise. May St. May St. Blaise protect you from all ailments of the throat and from every other illness. Moving forward in this great month of February, February 17th is the day we begin Ash Lent and Ash Wednesday. That's the day we'll all receive our ashes. This year, because of special COVID-19 restrictions, these ashes will be sprinkled upon our head because even social distance, we are unable to touch people's forehead. So the usual sign of a Catholic on Ash Wednesday of that cross on their forehead um, will be missing but will have to be a greater sign by being a witness, a light of Christ 
from Ash Wednesday to um, Easter Sunday. And again, once we hit Ash Wednesday, the colors of the season change and we move on to the season of Lent, a time of preparation, a time where the, the church prayerfully um, looks in itself. Each individual takes on um, their desire to fast or to abstain and to better themselves as they prepare to celebrate the risen Christ in a new and more perfect way. Please pray for us here at the Shrine of St. Anthony and know that we and the companions of St. Anthony are praying for you. God bless you all. Thank you.